Welcome back to another Doggers Band Model Railway review. Today we're looking at the Oztrain's C Class locomotive. This is outside of our normal sphere of operations because today we're looking at a Victorian locomotive rather out than our Australian National or uh, New South Wales livery locomotives. Excuse me, just burped. Um, so this is this is C S three from the Silverton Railway. So it's a it's an older product from Oz Trains. Like um, I'm not sure when it dates from, but it's before I came on the scene. So now anyway, let's let's start the review. To open the model, you pull the top off. Hang on. This is odd. It doesn't seem to be have the right colours. In the wrong shape. Hang on, this is not an an C class. It's not Victorian at all. It's a New South Wales 82 class. Who makes it? It's an on tracks. Ah. Huh. That's strange. I swear uh, the, the guy put, put in an C class in that box. Oh well, looks like we're reviewing the, an, the A2 class locomotive from, from Ontrax. So, some information about the A2 class from the top of my head. Um, these locos are built from 1994 to 1995. 58 of this class have been built. They're double dog bone, as you can, as you may see. Um, they're powered by an EMD 12710G3A. The top speed of 121 kilometers per hour. That is 75 miles per hour for our US audience. Um, their horsepower rating is 3,252. Um, they they're built by Clyde Engineering. Um, most are found on coal trains in the Harner Valley, but can also be seen on bulk freight and intermodal services. So the model weighs. Get this to grams. Four hundred and sixteen grams. Or 14.7 ounces. The model is actually beautiful. The handrails are still st they feel sturdy. I'm not going to push on it because it's not my model. You've got separately applied metal grab irons, all along the locomotive have been applicable. You've got molded in doors with ha with the ha handles. The A2 class were one of the ones that pushed my what some of my favourite locomotives onto the on the scrap heap. The uh, the older Alcos. I I do I do like the old Alcos. They sound so good. Uh, you have moulded in um, air hoses and separately applied metal grab grab. Oh no, no, that's not. That's a couple of cup bar. A KD cap. cap, 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 cap a KD compatible knuckle coupler, um, ditch lights, marker lights, headlight, separately applied window wipers. I think that's used glass too rather than the molded glass. You've got an MU hose. And no, I don't know what that 13 is for. It's it's a aftermarket fitting. You do have a builder plate. On the model, this is in this is in the uh, Pacific National Paint Scheme. Looks like the owner's got a loose handrail there, but they seem sturdy. Then they're, they're not break. They're not breaking. The problem with these on tracks A2 class is there's um these these grills can pop out. Again, that's not really a big issue in my opinion. You have. A see-through grate there with you can actually make out the um, cooling cooling vents. 
Yeah, I don't know much about the A2 class, or most of its parts, so really I'm just making, I'm just trying to be as useful as I can. You do have a uh, detailed interior without a crew in it. You have legible warning, warnings on the locomotive where applicable. It's quite a lovely model. Simply applied horn. On the bottom of the locomotive, you don't, it's not really that, there's not much detail there. Uh, you don't have um, pipe work, things like that, but you do have battery boxes, fuel tank. Not sure what these white things here, here do. They're on bo both ends of the bogies. So probably um, some, somebody might be able to tell us in our brains trust we have. They, it seems like a really spart spartanly detailed machine. But the same way, kind of detailed. You have air conditioning units on top. Um, I think that's some sort of satellite antenna thing. Or, yeah, GPS thing. Radio antenna at each end. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe.